Uh, disappointing, full stop the way we played. Um, not up to international standard on that, that performance today. So obviously still a long way to go, hopefully. Um, but you know, certainly haven't played as we would like. Uh, Sri Lanka have played well and we haven't. I would think so, yeah. Um, you know, decision making process is, it hasn't been great for the series so far for us, so we've made some poor decisions uh, against some yeah, good bowling, uh, there's no doubt about that, but uh, we've got to be better than that if you want to succeed at, in these conditions, um, and we certainly haven't been up to standard so far. Yeah, I can't complain about the preparation for the lads and the work ethic. Um, it gets down to the pressure in the middle of a test match and being able to cope with it. And at the moment we haven't. So you know, tomorrow's another day. Hopefully we'll, we'll cope a lot better with the, the captain and the vice captain there. But you know, certainly some blokes have got to look at themselves, how they want to go about it in these conditions and how they've got to succeed. We've obviously talked a good game in the media and the press, how we want to play, but we're certainly not showing up at the moment. Darren, I was going to say, is that the most disappointing element that given the amount of preparation Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and I can't put my finger on it, really. It's up to the players to, to, to get there and do that. We give them as much info as we possibly can, as you know, and, and you know what we're like. We're pretty open to the way we want to play and the way we want to speak and all those sorts of things. So it gets down to the players doing it on the ground. Um, and at the moment, we're letting ourselves down as, as a group. So um, they know what they want to do. It's having the belief to, to do it and succeed. And that's, that's the biggest thing with Test Match Group, full stop, and especially here in the subcontinent. Uh, I haven't heard the comments, so I can't really comment on the comments made, if that makes sense. Well, I'll, I'll find out what's said and then I'll work it out from there. Yeah. Can, uh, can the coaches take any blame? Yeah, you always take blame, whether you, 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 get, bl you get blame and that's the, what happens when you're a coach. Uh, if you play badly, you get blamed. There's nothing wrong with that. That's part and parcel of professional sport. So. We've got to sit back and work out whether we're doing the right thing. I believe we are, we're just not implementing it on the ground and we've got to make sure we get the players doing what they're supposed to be doing. And if they're not, then we'll have to find blokes that are going. Yeah, I think I'll just push out also, what way it's feeling how is it sort of taking into the dressing room home because the atmosphere there is coming Sorry? The pressure that is being applied uh, well, they're normally out at the moment, so um, they're pretty disappointed. Oh, I think it's you're going to have spin in these conditions. It's no different when you play anywhere else. So um, that, that's the key to succeeding, isn't it? Winning that battle, the the, the mental battle. Everyone's got the skill to, to perform at this level. Otherwise, they wouldn't be playing. Whether it's a Sri Lankan player and an Australian player. So for us, they're, they're right on top of us at the moment and we've got to, we've got to perform better under that pressure. Darren, you were there in UAE in 2014 and got thumped a couple of times there, um, different personnel, but do you think this group has improved playing in those conditions or are you worried that you're actually haven't moved on at all? Results will say we haven't moved on, won't it? Pretty simple. Um, so. Uh, from my point of view and, and from us as a group, we, we've got to get better. It's, it's simple as that, we've got to stop the rot. We've, I think we've lost, what's that, you know, seven and tomorrow we've got to play better to stop the rot. So for us, they know what they have to do. Um, you know, we've had lots of people that have played in the subcontinent help us out and successful players. So it's not as though they haven't got the knowledge or the know-how to do it. It's actually doing it out on the ground under the pressure. Brandon Will, Darren, on a bright just talk about Mitchell Smart's performance over the last couple of days. Yeah, pretty good considering he only had, what, a couple of hours off or an hour and a half, really, today. So, yeah, we're pleased for him, best bowling figures, 10 for the match. Um, coming back from a you know, serious injury, it's been pleasing. He, he's got better and better as each game's gone by. So, for us, that's, that's a good sign. You know, I mean, the, the, the plus side is we managed to take 20 wickets again, albeit probably a little bit more expensive than we would have liked. Um, you know, we're still getting the wickets. Dan, Steve's been talking about um, uh, individual players having a 
you know, some might want to play for the crease, others might want to use that. They try to spread the field. Do you think it's, you know, maybe you guys are coaching stuff now, and it's the same guy, some of the guys, and that's not working for you, whatever plan you have? Yeah, we certainly look at that um, at each time, but it, it depends on the individual player. Some people do like going down, some people don't. It's very hard. Some people like to sweep, some people don't. Uh, there's a couple of interesting stats that sort of came up on TV today, which you can work out, not me. Um, I think that the, the individual player, we certainly tell them and instruct them if they're, that's not the way they should play. Um, but at the moment, again, I think we missed three straight balls today and you know one tonight. So. You shouldn't be missing those. Yeah. JP, did you want one? Did you have another one? Oh. Done. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, can you just clarify for us, Darren, what the situation is with the, with the batting coach sort of since Diver, like, I think Craig had been sort of put into it on an injury basis. And is, is there still to be a full-time appointment? Still to be a full-time appointment there, yeah. Obviously, Diver's left. Uh, Bluey's there doing it at the moment. Um, and uh, Greg had a baby, so that's why he's not on this tour. Um, so Stewie's come in to fit in there. So that's something we'll have to look at at the end of the series and all those sorts of things moving forward. Have you got a sort of time frame in mind for that one? Uh, no time frame, but if we keep batting like this, it'll be a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> and, Aaron, you yeah. Score will show the big disparity between spinners on each side. How would you see your team spin balls and the impact they've had in these conditions? Um, disappointing. Same as the batters. Uh, there's no doubt about that. They, they should, I mean, Nathan Lyon's experience has been very good for us over a period of time, but his record in the subcontinent is not great. Um, so, you know, he's got to improve. There's no doubt about that. And, and Holland's playing his first game, so he's going to be a little bit nervous. So, give him a little bit of leeway there. But end of the day, their spinners have certainly outbowled our spinners. No dramas whatsoever. Yeah. Just following on from that, given Mitch's performance as well, does that sort of suggest you might need to? Uh, no, because we're not winning with pace anyway. Um, so we've got to find the right mix, uh, and we think the balance is right. Uh, we're getting the wickets, we're just not getting them at. Uh, well, we're getting them quick enough, just uh, you know, costing us a few too many each over. So we've just got to get the balance right. But two spinners, you're certainly not going to play, not play two spinners, I would think.